Alright, hey guys, it's Adrian from SNATME.com. Welcome to this se session, the quick tip session in ZBrush 2021. I believe we're in ZBrush 2021.6. But then um, you should have um, basically most of the features that we're going to be using on this tutorial. What do, so, what we're going to go through is um, the HD geometry which we highly use to achieve those high details so you you might be confused that this is a not this there's not a lot of details right now so everything is basically hd geometry so what um what we're going to be doing here uh, it's going to, through the basics and um, how to use hd geometry in zbrush on your workflow and how we use it on all our models and um, how we can achieve those super high details without taxing your system a lot so if you don't have a, a very very good machine but then you obsessed with details like we do so this is a very good tutorial for you so um, I have the cranium over here our from our skull so it's essentially extracted from our uh, HD um, skeletal systems. This is the male skull, and we shared um, our t in entire process. I'll probably like pop, um, um, like add the, uh, the link to the, those time lapse on the description below, um, and then we'll take it from there. So I have this over here. So how this works? Say. Um, you were sculpting this and then you reached um, the highest subdivision that your system can um, can compromise now but then you still want to achieve those high details uh, so what's very cool there's this new fee there's, there's this feature it's, it's not new it came out long ago but then there's not a, a lot of options over here it's basically very basic to use and i believe it's like neglected all the time so there's a, not like a, lo a lot of tutorials how to use this because it's just a few buttons and here and there so how this works let's say you reach the highest subdivisions on um on your sub tool which your system can handle you can add um hd subdivisions which don't add over here but then um, on the background so in, in in order for you to see all those details you need to press a on your keyboard or press this over here sculpt in HD so what we strongly recommend before you um, you start sculpting in HD is to split your models in um, different poly groups so if I go to the lowest subdivisions over here and then I press shift F on my keyboard you can see we have different um, party groups for um, for this model over here so this this it's mandatory so I strongly advise you guys before to before you never use um, your um, HD subdivisions just split your models in uh, in sub tools that you can handle um, what what you can also do also if you don't have that uh, let's say you done like good topology which I strongly recommend also you can go to your party groups and then you can auto group by UV so it will basically look at the UV shells and then it will auto generate poly groups for you um regarding your uv so, uh, as you can see over here it um look looks at our uv shells and then it creates these poly groups so this is also uh, another way you can work with this so what this helps you with you can actually like select one section so if i press um shift control on that poly group I can select that party group I want to stop sculpt in HD geometry and then what I can do let's go to the high subdivision and then I, I can turn off my um, my um, uh, wireframe over here 
go back here turn, turn off poly paint so for us to see these details so to start sculpting in HD turn off symmetry uh, you go to the high subdivisions over here and then uh, go to geometry HD make sure um, you have divided over here so I, I have already divided to 2 which gives me 10 million polygons so my entire cranium is 10 million polygons but right now you're only seeing 100 um, K uh, polygon right now so if I press if I hover over my mesh and press A on my keyboard it will start subdividing um, splitting my cranium so now I am in HD geometry as you can see this turns on over here so that tells you you're in HD geometry you can click this you can click over here to turn this off you can just click it again on your keyboard to turn this off now you can see i mean uh, i have 2.7 polygons right now which um right now then i can come in i can come in now to um, start sculpting in hd so anything i do right now over here let's say i grab my um, gag rect and then um, uh, upper 40 so uh, we, we're not going through that the details if you want to know um, how we done these details we did a, a, a new quick tip tutorial so just quickly check that out I'll probably share um, it on the description or on the end screen so now anything I, I do right now it's gonna be in HD so anything I sculpt as you can see this is HD geometry so if you press solo you can see um, your entire model but then what you you can only sculpt in it's the section over here as you can see this borderline so you can't sculpt on these areas over here so your mouse cursor ends over there so you can only sculpt on this so that's the only drawback but then um, it, it, it yeah, it kind of takes time but then i believe it's worth it so let's say you're down sculpting and adding all those details press a on your keyboard this this should switch you back to the um the normal subdivisions as you can see we're in 600 again and let's say I, i'm done with that front section now i want to do the um our our back section our, our, our occipital area I can hold down control shift and click on the poly group and then uh, the same process again I can just hover over my mouse and then press A on my keyboard to turn on the HD subdivision I can see the amount of details now we have on this over here you can press the solo mode to only view these um, this in HD so again I can just come in um, with my um, with my brushes and then come in and add those details so what's very nice you can also do like poly painting this is what we done so we went through here with with these just dragging these over here uh, like one by one I know this might s sound crazy but then that's what we actually done and then just coming in adding those micro details that you guys can see right there and then so we done the entire sculpting so you you can basically do like your entire sculpting and your entire painting in uh, in um, HD geometry so let's say um, so uh, it's turn on poly poly um poly paint so you can have your displacement and your texture map in 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 high res in hd geometry that should work for you guys right there and how to export these it's very very quick it's very easy so you can basically export it the same way as you export um your maps you need to have your UVs again switch to lower subdivisions okay let's switch to the lower subdivision 
and then shift F on your keyboard press F to frame this and then go down over here to the UV map and then turn the bump down and then morph UV just check your UVs make sure you have a clean UVs like we have something quick this is very quick and then um, to export the subdivision what a ZBrush will do um, if you have H, um, HD subdivisions on your model ZBrush will automatically pick that up so you can do this in two ways you can go over here and then make sure you create your new texture probably like create let's say new from polypaint so this will create the new texture reading the the vertex colors and the hd um color that we painted in hd geometry so this is done automatically so now we have our texture which is in hd as you can see it's 8k and um now you can come over here and then create your displacement if you just click over here to create your displacement I, i'm not going to do it over here because this is going to take some time so what we normally do turn on on the smooth uvs flip v it, if you want three channels that's fine you can just click it over here not that necessary so basically you will have your rgb and if you turn this off you will only have your red channel it works fine just make sure you have 32 bits turned on or the other way you can go to your multi map exporter make sure let's say you want a displacement map your normal map and your texture maps make sure sub tool and then choose your your texture size 4k or 8k just drag this to the very end and then I, I normally have this my map borders to the very end and then go to the export options if you have morph target turn this on uh, to switch them and then go to displacement maps you want to start from the lowest subdivision if not you can just play around with this and normally have smooth uv three channels so these are the settings so you can just copy this that we normally have and sometimes we play around with, with the uh, this but then it's not that necessary so these are the settings make sure your map board is at the very end over here and then normal maps tangents smooth uvs as normal so that this that's what we have for these settings over here so if you want to export your normal map just create maps and ZBrush will automatically pick up your HD um, details and then export that out so um, if you guys want to know more about or if, if you have any questions you, you can just comment on the section below and we'll try reply as quick as possible or if you have any tutorial request don't hesitate just um, comment on the section below and we'll try assist you guys where we can so this is it for today i'm adrian from snatomy.com and i'll definitely see you guys on the next one